Hi, this is Christina with Full Color. Today I'd like to show you a few new features available in Rose Plus. Let's go ahead and log in by selecting Log In here. As you can see, under Preferences, we now have more options available for you to select from. The most exciting options out of these is you now have the ability to hide or show lab prices. Simply uncheck the box here, exit out of the ordering system, and reopen. This will strip all lab pricing from the ordering system and works perfectly when working with the client in the ordering system showing them templates or album designs that you've created. Let's go ahead and select products. And here is the main ordering screen. Most of it has remained the same. However, the catalog drop-down menu is now located at the top for easy access. You may have also noticed the favorites button here. Now you know that we offer the majority of all of our products in Rose Plus, and to help you find the products you order the most, you can now assign them as favorites. To do so, simply click on the product you would like to save to your favorites, select the green icon, and give it a name. Hit enter, and it's automatically saved under your favorites. You can also create groups here by selecting this tab. This will help you better organize your favorites. Now when working on a templated card or creating your own composites, you may have used the design tool. The design tool has now changed to the top corner here and has fewer tools available to select from. You can still create the same changes like changing font, strokes, opacity, and shadows but you must select the image node to view those options first. To demonstrate the design tools, I'm going to go ahead and create a quick composite. Let me go ahead and load my images. And first I'm going to drop in my background image. Select the image node at the bottom to apply a crop using the zoom tool. That looks good. And next I'm going to go ahead and draw my own image node. Just click and drag using the draw tool. And now I can drag and drop an image into the node. To make any changes like cropping, strokes, shadows, or change in opacity, just select the image node. And all your tools are available under this menu here. That looks good. I really like the way that this node looks. And to save me some time, I'm going to right click and duplicate this node and pull from the middle to move my image node. Go ahead and drag and drop a new image. You can also rotate using the image node tool. There we go. Now to add my own text node, I'll use the draw text tool and click and drag. Select the node and next I'll need to choose my font. Again, you can choose any font from your computer. And then also I can choose a color. That looks good. Now another great feature that we na you now have in Rose is that once you create composites like these, you have to remember to add it to the cart so you save your work. The same also applies for album designs or book designs. You'll need to select cart, and at the top here, you can actually render out this composite you created so you can send to your client for proofing. Select render, and choose the folder location you'd like to save it in. And there you go. The product has now rendered out. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now I have a composite that I can send out to my client for proofing. Very, very quick and easy. Now another time saver option that we have now have available is the hold options area. To demonstrate this, I'm going to order a proof book. First, I'm going to select the cover page. And on the right, I'm going to choose my order options. I'm going to choose my background stroke, font, and font color. Now before I do anything else, 
I'm going to make sure that these order options are held. Automatically, my hold options is selected, and I also have other options checked like auto rotate. If you'd like to select hold quantity, hold images, or crop, and more, you can do so by selecting this menu here. This will definitely save you some time when ordering multiple products that have the same order options, and it also helps you avoid making order mistakes. So let's go ahead and drop in my image. Enter in text. And add this to the cart. Once I choose my next proof book page, it automatically held all the options I selected here. And again, you see how this just saves a lot of time. And now I can add that page to the order. Now, if you have any other questions on the new features in Rose Plus, please feel free to contact customer service or email us to service at fullcolor.com.